Okay, so something that I've noticed that I do when I'm trying to wait well is I manipulate situations and I try to speed up the process. And you talked a little earlier about how we need to go through the process in order to see the promise fulfilled. But what's one practical step that we can take when we're waiting for something to happen that can help us turn it right side up? Oh, this is hard. <laughs> it is hard. This is one I'd love someone else's advice on. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm a finisher, a completer. Right. Um, I like things organized and tidy, and I I want things done, and I want them done now, and um, I want immediate relief yes. from my pain. And I think what's so hard about waiting, especially when we're waiting for something um, like a promise fulfilled by God is that there's pain mm -hmm. while we wait. Yeah, it, it's not just a matter of a timeline; it's a matter of relief that we want, right? Yes. And so, one thing I want to challenge you with today, and it's something I have to challenge myself with, is I don't like pain very much, and so I want to relieve the pain. Mm -hmm. And so, if I have a headache, I want to take Advil. Yes. Um, if I uh, stub my toe, I want to get the Neosporin that has the pain relief yes. in it and mm -hmm. then put the Band-Aid on it, right? <laughs> and so I, I want the pain to go away. But what I have to remember is that there's even a process to the pain going away. Pain is often an indication that something needs to be healed and a healing needs to take place, and we can't rush that. But in order to know how we need to heal, we often need to be able to feel the pain. Mm -hmm. And so while we're waiting, I just want to encourage you, don't get sucked into the trap of numbing your pain. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that the enemy is going to put in front of you to tempt you to numb that pain. But if you don't ever feel the pain, you can't deal with the pain. And if you never really deal with the pain, you will never heal from the pain. And numbing can come in so many different aspects. We can get on Facebook and try to just distract ourselves, getting wrapped up in other people's yeah, lives. Social media is a really so, big yeah, one. Yeah, or for Instagram, sure. mm -hmm. you know, just getting kind of caught up in everyone else's life to ignore some realities in yeah. our life. Um, we can try to numb our pain with Netflix, you yeah. know, just watching movies or getting swept up in a TV series and we just watch them back to back to back, you know. Um, now, I'm not saying like, oh, shoot, you just did that yesterday, so that means you're <laughs> right. numbing some pain. But I'm right. saying be honest with yourself. Why are you doing it, mm -hmm. you know? If it's for entertainment, then that's a different category. But if it's to numb some pain in your life, pay attention to that. People can use alcohol to numb their pain. They use drugs to numb their pain. And oftentimes we take um, the method of our numbing and we hold it as a secret and yes. it's something that um, we just want to get through this season, and then we think we're going to release mm -hmm. that method of numbing. The reality is that method of numbing often sticks with us mm -hmm. and um, often prevents us really from dealing with the pain and healing from the pain. So be honest about that. And um, I would find a good friend, a safe friend, a friend that you know is praying more words for you than they talk about you or to you. And um, I would maybe just set up a conversation with that person, go have coffee with them or whatever, and just say, hey, help me process this. I think I am numbing my pain. Will you help me figure out one positive step I can take to let go of that numbing mechanism so that I can really deal with this pain? Because my goal is I want to heal from the pain. And then they can help hold, hold you accountable so you're not doing it alone. That's right. And obviously, another great resource is good Christian counseling. Yeah. Um, I can't say enough. I don't know why in the Christian community we have an aversion to saying we're in therapy or going to yeah. counseling or whatever, but you and I were talking earlier. It's like we love counseling. Oh, yeah, I'm a big know? fan of counseling. This is great. Yeah. And so, just like we are physical beings, we go to a medical doctor for that. We are spiritual beings, we go to Bible teachers to help our spiritual development. We're also emotional beings, and we can go to good, trained Christian counselors to help us. And certainly, if you need some resources on Christian counseling, we'll link some opportunities for you yeah, today. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you.